Cubitech sent me the Cubitrock metal case product. It's based on Cubitrock, also called Cubiboard 3 development board, and they include a case, a battery, and a SSD drive, 128GB. Alright, and they sell it for, I think, about $160, in, all included. So let's have a look at the package. Okay, this is cubic truck metal case. So it comes in kit, I think. And you have to assemble it or not. I am not sure. Oh no, this is pre assembled. So I don't need to do anything. Alright, there is a small cap to uh, protect the Wi Fi antenna. Okay, I'll remove it. So I'll just check again the ports. We've got the Wi Fi antenna, the power, it must be a gigabit Ethernet. Wi-Fi, SPDIF, a VGA port and it's quite heavy, it's nice on the other side we've got two USB 2.0 ports a mini uh, USB port maybe it must be OTG this one might be the audio or video, I cannot remember this is a micro SD slot you've got a power button here this is a window for the IR receiver and some LEDs. Okay. And okay, I'm not sure if you can see on the video, but at the bottom uh, you've got the SSD. Yeah, oh, I'm not sure why they put the battery, but there is also a battery inside. This one is the power supply. A USB power supply. They say it's 5 volt, 2.5 amps. This is a US plug. I guess if you buy from Europe, you will get a US, a, U, a European plug, and they also have a infrared remote control. Okay. Um. All right, and two batteries included. Triple A batteries. Okay. So that's all for now. Uh, maybe I will open it to see what's inside. I forgot one box uh, in my unboxing uh, with some other accessories. So this is a mini USB uh, to USB cable. This is for OTG port. Uh, this is a USB uh, to a barrel. Uh, for this is for power to connect with the power supply there is a Wi-Fi antenna you can put here ok and there is a micro uh, USB to OTG adapter and they have a they have a sticker Uh, yeah, yeah. You can add it here. It looks better, uh, and it can be taped uh, with a 3M sticker. And at the back, you also have this. 
uh, same to be uh, stick with a sticker okay so that's all okay so I have removed um, 10 small screws like this so now hopefully we can take it apart that's that is the front and I pull like this ah, so actually you only need to remove the front if you want but I also remove the back I'll have to find where I have to put this back okay so that's the case that's metal that's a QB truck with an all winner A20 processor okay you can remove or maybe I will do it now uh, yeah to see the battery and the SSD okay four screws okay this is not the same SSD I, as in my first post it's also 128 gigabyte, but the brand is Chuangju and it's a Taiwan brand. Okay, so oh, I don't want to push too hard. Ah, okay. So here we have four more screws. So if you want, if you want to remove it, three more screws. If we want to remove the SSD and check the battery, just have to remove them. Oh, okay. And we can see the battery on this side actually. So okay, at the bottom. You've got this battery. Um, yeah, there is no indication of the capacity, but uh, if I remember correctly, it's five thousand three hundred. Okay, so um, that's all for today. Uh, hopefully I will be some do some test of the SSD on the QB board and try Linux. I think Linux is pre-installed. So yeah, that's all. See you next time. Bye bye.